In this video, I'm going to show you the installation of the Polaris Max suction side cleaner. And in the box is a quick start guide and also the warranty card. Also included is the flow keeper valve for the skimmer installation. And this is how the valve should look in the skimmer. And this flow keeper valve should automatically regulate the suction of the cleaner. You need to adjust it. There's an adjustment here on the back. And it's marked 1 through 5. Simply pull this tab back. And you can adjust the flow keeper valve. And if you have a side port on your pool, this elbow is included for side port installation. And for side port installation, I highly recommend the vac lock. The vac lock will help prevent entrapment if the hoses were to come out. And the vac lock is sold separately and threads into the side port of your pool. Also in this video, I'll show you how to set the wheel revolutions per minute to get the cleaner moving properly in your pool. And in order to connect the hoses to the cleaner, look for this lead hose here. It has a float and it has this part here that clips onto the top of the cleaner. So simply clip this part onto the head of the cleaner. You can hear it snap on. And the cleaner features these Swiss lock hoses. You want to connect the hoses like this. And you want to connect all the hose sections together that you're going to use for the installation. It's really simple. Now you're going to put the max on your pool deck at the furthest point from where you're going to connect the cleaner to your pool at the side port or skimmer. You want to have one hose length sticking out wherever you connect the cleaner. And from this side here, you can see the cleaner here with one hose length. And then there it is in the pool to the side port. And if I were connecting the cleaner at the skimmer, you can see I have the hose here at the skimmer. Then I have it stretched across the pool with the cleaner with one hose length sticking out on the deck. So that would be the proper hose length for the skimmer installation of the Max. One thing I recommend is to install an inline leaf canister with your cleaner. This will prevent the pump basket from being clogged up with leaf debris. This is a Zodiac Cyclonic canister. I'm going to show you how to install it with a canister. Okay, the first thing you want to do is drop the cleaner in the pool and fully submerge it, getting all the air out of the hoses. I really like this handle on the back of the Max. It makes for easy insulation and retrieval from the pool. And then I like feeding the hose in hand over hand, pushing all the air out. If you did this properly, you should see all the air evacuate out of the last hose when you put it in the water. Okay, now I'm going to connect the canister to the hose. You can see that it's marked cleaner here on top. This end goes towards the cleaner, and this end will go towards the pump. So now we're going to connect the elbow to the hose that's going into the side port. And then you want to connect the elbow to the side port. So for the skimmer installation, you want to take the lid off the skimmer and remove the basket. Now you're going to take the hose and slide it to the front of the skimmer. Remember that the flow keeper valve is marked here with the flow pointing down towards the skimmer. You want to make sure the cone is on this end. You're going to push the cone firmly into the skimmer suction line. Now we're going to attach the hose to the elbow. So that's the skimmer installation. It's very easy. And since you're going to have to remove the skimmer basket to install the cleaner, you can see all the leaf debris here in the skimmer basket. One great aftermarket product is a hole in one basket. And the hole in one basket is designed to keep the leaf debris from going into the pump with the cleaner installed at the skimmer. You can learn more about the hole in one basket on my website. Now we're going to set the max to run at the right wheel revolutions per minute. I like putting some hoses on a deck like this. That way when I'm holding the cleaner, if I have to put it back in the pool, it's not going to go too far. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the pump here at this pool. And if you have a side port, you should see a Jandy valve here coming off the suction line. So this valve here controls the suction to the side port. I'm going to open it up about 3 fourths. You don't want to open it fully because then you'll turn off all the suction to the skimmer. We want to open it up partially so that it'll have some suction to the side port and you also have suction at the skimmer. So you want to go ahead and loosen the knob here on top. So I'm going to start it with the side port open at this position. You also want to start with a clean filter. So go ahead and take your filter apart and clean it or backwash your filter. And with the variable speed pump, there's one more step necessary to set up the cleaner. And you have to adjust the RPMs for the speed of the pump. So you have to raise the RPMs or the percentage of the speed in order to get the proper suction 
with the side port valve at a certain position. And here's a look at the arrow on the wheel or the teardrop marking. And I'll use the edge of the shield here as my indicator and then I'm going to time it as it goes around. You also want to make sure that it finishes its turn cycle and then you can time it as the wheel is moving. So the optimal speed of this cleaner is having 10 revolutions in 20 to 25 seconds. And you can achieve this by measuring it by pulling the cleaner to the side of the pool carefully, not to let the cleaner come out of the water. Again, that teardrop, and also I use the side of the shield as my line. And I'll time it to see how many times it goes around. And you want 10 rotations of that dot in 20 to 25 seconds. So you may have to adjust the speed of the pump, like here, I'm raising the RPMs to a higher percentage. Or you may want to adjust the side port. You don't want to adjust it too far, otherwise it's going to start cavitating or causing air to form in the pump. So it's better to adjust the speed of the pump up rather than adjust the side port to increase the wheel revolutions of the cleaner. And of course if you need to decrease it, you would just lower down the speed of the pump or you can open up the side port and let more suction go to the skimmer at that point. If you have it connected to the skimmer and you need to make some fine adjustments, you can use the flow keeper valve and just move this part on the back forward or backwards to adjust the suction. So that's the installation process of the Polaris Max. You can see it's a very easy and simple process. Leslie's Pool Supplies has been do-it-yourselfers and pool trade professionals trusted partner since 1963, providing quality products and services to make pool care easy and solutions and expertise to do it right.